What's up, guys? I'm Jake Minetti. So, Joe Rogan, guys. Joe Rogan was approached from someone from Huawei uh, to explain the case of Huawei and what's going on with the US and the company, and you know, just to clarify things that we don't know. We only listen to the media now, and we believe what the media is saying because it's the only outlet. But if Joe Rogan was able to uh, invite this person from Huawei to explain the situation, we would actually get better uh, outlook on the issue. Also, Joe could actually ask questions, you know, regarding his concerns because in his podcast or previous podcast, he had he asked so many questions about Huawei was going on. So that would be a better chance for him to ask directly to the source. And uh, I was actually surprised that he rejected this offer. And he, he mentioned in his podcast that he's not going to invite him. I don't want to invite him. Why would I? I was surprised about this uh, reaction, to be honest with you. I, was, I didn't expect that from Joe Rogan. I thought he has a free mind thinking and he doesn't care about nothing. Uh, so that's the only thing that actually bothered me. I wish Joe could actually bring someone from Huawei so, because we tech users, we love we love the competition, we love what's going on. And we need to know if Huawei is going to actually replace Google with another service or actually there is a deal going on. So that's the only thing we'd like to uh, talk about about Joe Rogan and what's going on here. So that, I know Joe Rogan is going to have a big impact uh, on the social media uh, regarding this case especially. That's it guys. Uh, if you want to look at the episode of Joe Rogan rejecting uh, Huawei um, offer, it's a, it's one of these. Uh, just type in Joe rejecting Huawei. You you might find it there. Anyways, guys, see you guys later.